Let's look at the weather. It's a warm old evening in many parts of the country. 26 in Auckland as we go to air. 29 in Christchurch right now and we're in for a warm, dry weekend. But it's not likely to last with tropical cyclone Gita expected to reach New Zealand early next week. Now, the Met Service is advising people living from Nelson in the south through to Auckland in the north up the west coast to spend the weekend clearing drains and tying everything down before the Category 3 storm brings destructive winds and heavy rain on Tuesday somewhere in the, along that coastline. Met Service meteorologist Georgina Griffiths came into the studio this afternoon and I asked her what we can expect. Well, tonight it's still a Category 3, an intense Category 3 system. It's not that far off Noomea at the moment, still tracking west, but expected to start moving south tomorrow, overnight tonight and tomorrow. And of course Met Service will inherit all warnings and responsibilities with Cyclone Gita once it crosses 25 south. Still is a very vigorous system, still is a tropical system actually. Um, and at that point we're going to have a better idea once it starts to come out of the tropics and transitions into an extra tropical system. Um, Saturday night we think, once it starts coming away now people just for the for the listeners extra tropical system doesn't mean it's any weaker than what it currently is it's going to be a very deep low and we're using the words highly impactful for New Zealand we do know it's tracking directly to New Zealand it will make landfall somewhere in New Zealand and the D-Day it looks like Tuesday at the stage highest confidence on Tuesday impacts and into Wednesday so what we're not as clear on mm. is the landfall area and I think we've got an idea but there's still some uncertainty particularly around that Tuesday landfall so we can talk about which regions likely to get most most impacted and what we do know but it's not a given yet and the problem with having those conversations now is people think I'm off the hook and then suddenly yeah. it changes its path good and point so during the weekend Saturday night when we inherit the information we'll update people it's more likely to be Sunday before we really um, define what Tuesday Wednesday looks like even maybe midnight Monday depends on the timing a bit now so all I'd say is for people if you're weather dependent or even if you're not but you know this is a big intense system and we're, we're fairly concerned for New Zealand at a national level with this one keep up with the the warnings watches and information from Met Service around about Sunday. What are you concerned about the, the, the rain or the wind or both? Oh, both. So I'll tell you where at this stage, there's probably 60-70% chance it makes landfall somewhere in the upper North Island. New Plymouth to Auckland is, is t the current um, hot spot for landfall. There's a bit of play in that, of course. Mm. Some, some of the models actually cross Auckland and a few of them um, more towards the top of the South Island. So not yet clear. But if it were to make a crossing of the North Island late Tuesday and into Wednesday, and between, somewhere between New Plymouth and Auckland, wind. Wind is going to be top end around the system. So what are we talking about? What's top end? Oh, I mean, some regions won't see as much because, of course, New Zealand has mountains mm, and mm. some areas like to blow. Cook straight to New Plymouth looks really good for top-end wind. I wouldn't like to put a number on it yet. Uh, is the exact track has a very you know, large impact on what sort of impacts we actually see. Um, we could see 150 kilometre an hour gusts easily, which is huge. Yeah. You know, our warning started at 110 and we start to see the, the non-linear impact. So, you know, the bigger the number, the bigger the mess. And we're talking, this is a nice weekend for most of New Zealand. Let's start to have a wee think about your property or your boat or your batch and really think about what will North Island do if it's very, very windy um, and top of the South Island as well. So that wind is probably the key concern, particularly for places like Auckland at this stage. Rainfall, lower North Island if it makes that New Plymouth through Auckland track, and that's if, remember, 60 mm. to 70 percent chance. Looks really wet, very wet. Really large warning amounts of rainfall, potentially flood making, I would use the word flooding. Um, lower North Island if it tracks there, and North north of the South Island. So those places like Nelson that really copped Fahey may well mm. be in the firing line again. So I draw your attention to lower North Island, top of the South, for rainfall. Sea surges? Yes, so this is going to depend a great deal on timing. Does it come in on a high tide and where? So regionally that's very dependent. Um, does it make landfall somewhere between New Plymouth to Auckland or is it Auckland itself or is it the top of the, the South Island? Again, too early to tell detail, but yes, coastal storm surge with a very deep centre. You know, we might mm. be seeing something below 980 as it, as it comes on, which is adding a lot to our um, mm. sea level. So the only good piece of news we've got is that we, we don't have king tides, but I'm not sure for some specific regions, and of course we'll update hard on Monday morning, it may not make a difference. I, I don't know if king tides 
um, with this particular deep system, for some regions might, it might not matter. We might see very large coastal impacts for some parts. Right, so to conclude, there are two very strong messages. One is pay attention to what the Met Service is telling us, yes. and two is if you are in any of the areas that have been identified, and that is a pretty large nice sweep of the country. Yeah, chunk of New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. uh, tie stuff down, get stuff inside, and get ready. Yeah, I think get ready, be prepared, and you know, if we get lucky, some, those regions that are most impacted will be smaller than that Melbourne to Auckland region, but you know, you know, I'd, I'd be prepared for this one, we're keeping close eyes on it. Georgina Griffiths, excellent forecaster for the Met Service.